Hi, my name is Whit Nixon from Wicked Wellbeing, and um, if any of you saw my, so I've got some steam coming up here, if any of you saw my live Facebook video last week, you'll know that I had an unexpected visitor. So I have currently got a Do Not Disturb sign on my front door, and all phones are on Do Not Disturb. So hopefully we won't have anyone unexpected turn up. So my business, Wicked Wellbeing, is all about healthy eating made easy, and I just want to help you get a nutritious meal on the table for your family. That's quick, that's easy, and that you don't have to spend hours slaving away in the kitchen. So today we are making some Coomera fish cakes, and in the bowl here I've already cooked some four or two Coomera and two potato. So I'm going to give those a little mash. So you could do this in the food processor if you wanted to as well. But they just need to be roughly mashed. And the great thing about combining Coomera and potato is that you're lowering that GI um, levels of the potato by adding in the Coomera because Coomera has got a, low, a lower glycemic rating. Put that down there, and we need one egg. And I've got some spring onions here, which are finely chopped up. I've got a can of um, no salt added salmon, but you could use fresh fish, you could um, use tuna. It's really flexible of what, you can, what other ingredients you can put into this dish. I've got some grated lemon rind and some cheese if you're dairy free then leave the cheese out or you could use a goat's cheese feta and again with the egg if you're egg free then you can easily leave the the egg out as well i'll just grab a wooden spoon and then you just mix mix that up it's quite a um a soft mixture so i've got my element heated up here i've got some oil and a heavy heavy uh, base fry pan so just turn that up slightly and it yes it is it is quite a a soft mixture it depends on how uh, moist your potatoes and your coomera are and then just form them into a patty like so, and put them into the pan. The beauty with this dish is that you can make it ahead of time. So if you wanted to make it in the morning, then it's all ready, or you can um, pre-cook them and then put them and let them cool and then put them in the freezer so that they're, they're all done. So I'm just, those will take two to three minutes. And then just while that's happening, I just wanted to say that this is a meal that comes out of our Wicked Wellbeing Kitchen Club. So our summer menu starts on the 20th of February, which is next Monday. And we've got an early bird special of $97 for the whole four weeks, which, weeks, which finishes tomorrow night at midnight. So if you're someone who notoriously notoriously leaves things until the last minute to join up, then this is your gentle reminder that um, now is a really great time. So head to wickedwellbeing.com uh, forward slash kitchen club and you can easily register there. Or we've got a, a two for one special, which is if you join with a friend then you both get 50% off. So it works out about $73 a week, which is amazing. So the whole idea behind our kitchen club is to give you some healthy inspiration so that you don't get to the end of the day and throw an unhealthy meal on the table. And it's just, the, the meals are all designed to be created in 40 minutes or less. So we give you the shopping list, the ingredients, well not, we don't actually deliver the ingredients, the shopping list, the preppy head tips, all the recipes, one baking, four evening meals a week. And the great thing is that you're still in control. So if you, if there's a certain ingredient that you know that your family doesn't like, then you don't buy it and you swap it out with something else. So that's why I still want you to have control and it keeps it a really economical program. So these literally only take a couple of minutes each side. 
because all the ingredients are already cooked. You've cooked the potato and the kumara. The tuna, uh, the salmon's already pre-cooked. You could use fresh salmon if you wanted to, and you could add corn in, you could add peas, you could add grated carrot, lots of different herbs. It's really flexible on what, what um, how much you can do with this dish. And then I, in the, in the recipe, you serve it with a tomato salsa, which has just got some, some herbs on the top and some steamed beans. But again, if your kids don't like beans, your kids don't like tomatoes, serve whatever you know that they will. So, those are, those are cooked. And now I know that my meal is all sorted for tonight. So again, that, that link is wickedwellbeing.com forward slash kitchen club. Enjoy, and let me know how you go.